Hey, what's up guys? It's LazyStorm here, and today I'm going to show you how to install um, XBMC, um, Xbox Media Center, and Navi X on a Toshiba Thrive, which is looks like this, Toshiba Thrive Android tablet. Um, I believe this works on rooted and non-rooted users, so anybody can do this. I don't think it matters which firmware you're running. I'm running Android 4. Point, uh, you can't really see that. 4.0.4, .4, which is ice cream sandwich, the rooted ROM. So I'm showing you what we'll be installing. First of all, this is Xbox Media Center. Sorry, I'm kind of sick, so I kind of sound kind of funny. So you got your music, videos, programs, um, your system settings, your weather, pictures. So I'm going to show you Navi X quickly. These both work wonderful. Uh, they're both very useful too. Navi X, what it does is it allows you to watch movies and TV shows, basically any in the world for free. Um, this is legal, it's not illegal. It is an app on the boxy box too. Um, if you have a jailbroken iPad you can get Xbox Media Center and install this on there too. Or iPad or iPhone. Um, if you have a modded Wii, you can get it on there. If you have a jailbroken uh, PS3, you can get it on your PS3. So yeah, uh, that's kind of what it is. It's not really loading right now, but I'll show you how to install this first. So just give me a second, I'm going to go uninstall everything. Oh, there it is. Now it is a big APK file. Um, I'm going to leave the download link for Xbox Media Center uh, and the uh, Navi X in the description. So, first of all, I'm going to want to open up the XBMC app um, APK and install it. Um, if you're not on Toshiba Thrive, go to the Xbox Media Center. Android um, forms make sure you're installing the right one because there's a bunch of different ones and this one is specific for the Toshiba Thrive which I found works for me now this does take a few minutes to install so I'll be right back when it's finished Alright guys, so when it's finished uh, and it's all installed, just click um, done and download the NaviX uh, 3.76 zip file and place it in your uh, Toshiba file manager in a place where you're going to know. I just named the file XBMC with the APK and NaviX in there so I know exactly where it is. So the next thing you're going to want to do is I'm just going to drag XBMC to my so open up XBMC alright guys so once um, Xbox Media Center opens up uh, what you're going to want to do is go to system now I'll go click on add-ons and back out until you find the screen where it says enable add-ons get add-ons install from zip and search what you're going to want to choose is install from zip file. Now go root file system. Scroll down until to, to you see SD card. The SD card is your internal um, system. Now scroll down to the folder where you put Navi X the zip file into. So mine was an Xbox Media Center folder. Now click on Navi X zip. Give it a second and you should see Navi X enabled. 
like that. NaviX enabled. So there you go, you just installed NaviX. So now what you can do is back out. Alright guys, so once you back out to the screen, go over to programs, click on it. Now it might take a second to open up. Now click program add-ons and you'll see NaviX. Now click on NaviX only once. Only tap on it once. Oh, there we go. And there you go. You got NaviX. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you do not know how to use NaviX, please look up a different tutorial. Um, I will be making a tutorial later, but right now I do not have any time. I'm sorry. But if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.